Okay, today's lesson is going to be on how to crochet a granny square. That is the idea today. Okay, and a granny square you should start out with, you want to chain three. Well, let's make it four because then we can make a nice circle. Okay, and then we have room enough to play around the way we want to play around, okay? We need to form a circle. So you need to chain four and then connect your circle. Make sure you don't twist it, because that would be bad. Even though nobody will notice on this one, so no big deal. Okay, so you have your little circle thingy. And you chain one, two, Three, and that is a toy that my daughter has and my dog has decided it is hers so okay and then you chain three and we're gonna do a double crochet okay we're gonna wanna and this one counts okay your chain three counts as one of your double crochets so you want to double crochet in here double crochet if you don't know how to double crochet I have other videos on that, so I have a video on that. I think I do. Oh boy. I will double check, but I think I do. Okay, if I don't, leave it in the comment section that I don't have one and I will post one. Okay, and then you want to put, depending on what kind of granny square you're making, most of them have three to four in one section, okay? So there. So there, you should have. Let's, I'm not even on camera. Oh my. Oh boy. That's bad. Okay, we'll go out a little bit. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you need to have four double crochet. And then you need to chain three again. Chain three. And now we're going to do a double crochet. So... You want to do four double crochet because that's what we're doing. Some, some granny squares do three, but we're doing four. Okay, so this is going to be your corner. It's going to be your corner. Okay, and then you put it back through, do another double crochet, and make sure you have four double crochets here. Okay, there you go. Then you want to chain three again. Okay, and then you go back in through your circle again, and you're going to do four more double crochet. Woohoo! We're doing double crochet! And my yarn is not cooperating with me. <laughs> it's not coming out of the skin. I found this color. This is bright orchard it says anyway I thought it was a pretty purple so and I decided I was going to do something with it um yeah so and then you want to do three more again th chain three so you got so far it looks it should look like this you got your like that yep mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you go like this There you go. And you want to do four more. Okay. Oop, oop, come on, come on. Maybe I should have made my circle a little bit bigger. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's okay though. That's okay. Okay, now we got we have four double crochet. We have four sets of four double crochet and then we need to chain three again okay and I have to really start pulling on this anyway okay then you attach this to over here to your three that you have there okay alrighty then okay then you want to then it should look like this okay little granny square okay and then you chain three and then you double crochet in the next corner there and you want to do 
two sets of four double crochet in here, so sorry my dog has bumped the camera. She's doing it in her sleep now. <laughs> and then you do your three because you want to make a corner because it is a granny square. I hope you can see from this angle. And yes, I know this video was supposed to be out yesterday. Um, I have some people that are staying with me, so... And I know that has nothing to do with this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I talk a lot. I know I do. And we're doing more. And see, then you want to loop like that. See, you do your, your, um, your double crochet, and you want to do one, one set of four, and then you crochet... You uh, chain three, then you do your next set of four, and this time between here you do not put a set of three in there. You just, here I'll back up, I'll back up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Okay, anyway, and then you do this, you do your double crochet, but so you have like a little bit of a space, so you have a little triangle in there. And then you do your four again. Do four double crochet. And because this is a corner, we have to chain three. One, two, three. And again, we do this. We go in there. And we want to, ch to um, double crochet four of them. Oh, excuse me. Put four double crochet in. So you should have two sets in each corner. Then again, you want to reach over, and this is not a corner, so you don't do your three. You just reach over there and put in your four double crochet in your next loop there. And depending on how big you want to make it, you just keep going. But we're only going to do these kind. And I'm probably going to do a tutorial. It's probably going to have to be in sections because I didn't, I'm not prepared. Shame on me. <laughs> We're probably going to do a small granny square afghan for a 18 inch doll. But, or American doll or whatever you want to call her. Anyway. I have a, just a regular 18 inch doll from Walmart and a, a craft store. I have two of them actually. I'm thinking about getting a couple more, doing some clothes for them. Yay! But today we are doing a, a, we're just doing this, showing you how to do the grainy squares. And we'll figure out how many we need on camera. Isn't that goofy? I'll figure out how many I need on camera. <laughs> I'm so goofy. Oops, sorry. No, I bumped the camera. I'm the guilty party this time. Okay. And because this is a corner, you have to chain, chain three. But you have your third loop here. So your three. And this counts as one. So you only have to, on your last one here, you only have to do three double crochet because we have that one sitting there. So there you go. And that's how you do your um, double crochet. Alrighty then. There you go. And then you end off because yuck in and here's my scissors okay and it should look like this okay it should look like this you might have to do a little bit of adjusting on it but it should pretty much look like this yeah so and that's how you do a granny square 
and you can make them bigger. Um, I found that if you go too big though, they start their sides start to like concave like this a little bit. So that's why I usually don't do them really, really big. I usually only do them like three or four, and then I like make more. But that's your decision. I mean, not everybody likes granny squares, so. But like I said, I'm probably going to do a tutorial on these. We're going to make a a baby blanket. Uh, I, for an 18-inch doll, we're going to make a blanket. And, and, you know, I'll have the directions up for that. On, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get that up today or tomorrow, though. Uh, it might be tomorrow. Uh, I'm kind of running behind on a few things. So, anyway. My tutorial will be on an 18-inch doll blanket. Probably in this color. And this color is, like I said, bright orchard. I might need another scan. <laughs> I should have thought this over clearly. <laughs> and I have not. Clearly, I have not. Okay. So... If you'd like to do that tutorial, make sure you have your 18-inch doll and you can get them at Walmart or craft stores if you can't afford the American doll. Uh, but if you have an American doll, you're welcome to bring her. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm going to do a tutorial on a, on a, a purplish blankie. Okay, so later, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry I did some of this off camera, sorry. Anyway. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel because I will be having more on uh, the lessons and I will be doing more tutorials on crocheting and stuff. Yes, I do some colored ones, but don't worry about that. If you don't like those, don't watch those. Just watch these <laughs> or watch whatever you like. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, please subscribe to this channel. Um, hit like, share. Uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Don't be afraid to leave me comments. I, I, I love reading those. Um, so. so anyway, here we go. Um, see ya. Bye. Catch y'all later.